In this part of the assembly, we're going to hear from each of your tutors. It is really nice to be able to hear from them and their reflections on your year in your tutor groups. OK, I've got one minute to sum up the whole year for our group. That's going to be too short to fit in all of our achievements. So I'm going to go for three big ones that I think are really important. Firstly, at the start of this year, Ecuador, I'm going to be really honest. We didn't feel as a group like a team. And now we do. We work together to do our part of First Give. You organised yourselves productively, respectfully, and you looked after each other during that project. And you've grown closer as a group of pupils. There are people in Ecuador who are friends now who never thought that they would be friends back in year seven. That's something I'm really proud of. Two, you take things seriously. Character discussions, lessons, the work that you've been doing at home independently. We particularly saw that in your behaviour just before the school closed. And three, you've done it all while letting your personalities shine through. I see that in your passionate conversations that we used to have at lunchtime, in your sense of humour when I phone up every week to check on how you're doing, in your creative work in English and art and drama, your passion for your different subjects. We're going to do even more together in Year 9. It's going to be brilliant and I can't wait to see you in September after a lovely summer break. Hi Estonia, it's Mr Atkins here, just with a quick message to say how very proud I am for all the hard work each and every one of you have put in this year. There's not enough time to say all of the things that we've achieved, but thinking back, we've had great attendance, really high quality character discussions and prep times because of the participation maturity that you've all shown. We had a great time with First Give, turning our room into a cupcake making factory. In the classrooms, when I would have come around earlier in the year, I could see that each one of you puts in huge amounts of effort into your work. And during lockdown, Mr. Burke and I have seen that again with the high quality work you've been sending in. Both of us have been saying that we're so proud of the character you've been showing, helping around your families, as well as, as, well as adapting and organizing yourselves to get that work sent in. We've come to the end of the year, and I hope you all have a fantastic summer I'm looking so much to seeing you next year in year nine. Goodbye. Hi, Estonia. I really echo everything Mr. Atkins said about your successes this year. I really enjoyed leading your character discussions. You, you're such a great group and to do discussions with because you listen to each other and you want to learn from each other. Um, I wish you all the best going into year nine. I am unfortunately leaving this year and so I won't be able to see you move on and um, to see your successes. But I am absolutely confident that you're going to be brilliant next year choosing your GCSEs really well done on how you've handled lockdown um, and all the best for next year and all the years to come. Hi Jordan I just wanted to say a massive congratulations on finishing another year at Art and Job Keeps. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to to watch you develop over the course of the year. We've had some real highlights for example in school uh, the way that we came together as a, as a group uh, for First Give uh, and, and the community action that we, we ran was, was absolutely fantastic. But you've also been really successful at adapting to some really challenging circumstances. Uh, over lockdown, I've been so impressed by the effort that you've put into your, uh, your booklets at home, but also the way that you've shown curiosity around developing a whole range of new uh, hobbies and, and also the kindness that you've shown uh, to other members of your family. Uh, so really well done. It's, it's been such a pleasure to watch you develop and grow this year and I can't wait to continue that journey into year nine. I'm confident that you're going to go from success to success next year and I can't wait uh, to see you soon. Thank you, mate. I'm really happy to be able to speak to you, albeit from a bit of a distance at this time. For me, working with you guys has been one of the highlights of my first year at AJK. And on that, I'm looking forward to being back in the classroom with you, especially in our character and news sessions that we're going to have next year. It's not been an ideal situation, but it has been the opportunity for you to do other things and certainly grow as a result. And I've seen a lot of that and heard about a lot of that 
in the calls that we've been having and certainly in the work that you've sent me. I really wish you all an enjoyable and a restful summer and I look forward to seeing you on the other side. Bye for now. Good afternoon, Malar. It's Mr. Maxwell here. Um, I just wanted to record a short video um, just to explain uh, how proud I am of you as a tutor group over the last couple of years. Um, that You have done some amazing work and you have shown excellent character. Your academic work in APs has been brilliant. Um, and I think as a tutor group, what highlights, uh, what stands out for me is your maturity and your kindness. Um, uh, that's especially been seen during the difficult lockdown period and your wonderful work that you've done and the excellent revision that you did for the end of year summary. So you should feel really proud of that. Uh, and I feel proud to be your speaker your shooter. I would just like to take this opportunity to um, wish you a goodbye. Um, I'll be leaving Arc John Keats at the end of this year and um, uh, I honestly say this um, uh, with, with all my heart um, uh, that I wish you the best success uh, at AJK in life and beyond. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. Hi Norway, it's Miss Azad and I just wanted to record this short message to congratulate you on such a fantastic academic year. I know that it's been really unorthodox having to be in lockdown and try and do learning and APs, but actually it's a testimony to how incredible you are because your revision, your assessments and everything in between have been incredible and I'm really, really proud of you. Alongside that, I'm really, really impressed with the fact that you won first gear. So excited. Well done. Um, and it was a real, real show of teamwork and love for the charity that you're working for. So well done. Well done. Massive well done. Um, I hope that you have a really lovely summer. Really, truly, you deserve to have a really good one. And I look forward to seeing you in September. You take care. Hi, Paraguay. Um, just sending a message to say congratulations on another really successful year at Art John Keats. Um, it hasn't been the same year that we imagined. Um, but I just want to say how proud I am of each and every one of you for taking on this really difficult situation and taking on this challenge and working really hard at home but also um, being at home and being a support for um, your family and being really kind to them and to other people um, and I hope you have a an amazing amazing summer um, or the best one that you can and I cannot wait to see you all in September. See you soon. Bye-bye. Year eight, well done for finishing this year in an unusual way. You have all shown great tenacity and adaptability during this time. Senegal has made me really, really proud. We achieved the best teacher group of the term in the first term, which is a great encouragement for everyone in the team, including myself. It's my absolute pleasure to be uh, their, uh, their, their tutor this year and I feel really proud of them. In terms of improvement, we have made a great uh, improvement in putting effort into the lesson um, in terms of putting more tenacity uh, when things are hard and also we had um, achieved a great result in attendance. If you want me to say a highlight uh, of this term, it will definitely be we have known each other um, more and this has made us a stronger team. So well done Senegal. I want to thank the tutors for that, but I also think it's really important to thank the tutors for the rest of the hard work they have put in to supporting you as a year group, through their utter commitment to making sure you are all right all of the time and their utter enthusiasm for your progress, making sure you are making the absolute best of your education means that this is an incredible group of people who have been fantastic for your education. I would like to think that you are reflecting on just what this group of people have done for you. Year 8, normally we would do our attendance awards based on your attendance to normal school. We can't do that this time for obvious reasons, but what I've managed to do is work out the tutor group attendance to the return to school days that you attended at the beginning of the penultimate week of term. In ninth place 
is Malawi. Eighth, Ecuador. Joint sixth was Kuwait and Georgia. In fifth is Senegal. In fourth was Estonia. And then with 72%, it was Jordan in third place. Then with 81% was Paraguay in second place, which means that Norway, with 86% attendance, won that competition. Well done, Norway. 